Hi, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about something that's rather exciting for me. It's the Hermes Limited Edition Fall Winter 2022 lipsticks. I did pick up all three. Is that a little bit excessive? Admittedly, yes. But I did find it hard to choose amongst the three of them and I knew that I would love all three of the colours so um, I just decided to get them all. Um, so here they are. Uh, we've got Rouge Feu, which is this one, and um, Rouge Cenabre, which is this one, and Rouge Grenat, which is the one in the purple tube. Um, so I'll show you what they look like on me, and then I'll show you some arm swatches also. So I've put on a foundation and some highlighter and my brows. But I haven't done any of my other makeup because I'm not sure how this rouge feu is going to look. And often if I'm wearing a red lip or um, a bright lip, then I like to put the lipstick on first and then see what I need to add to the rest of my face. So this is very much a first impressions of Hermes Rouge Feu. I always, when I try a new colour, I always try it with my finger first, just in case I don't like it, and then that way I can give it to somebody else. This one, actually, I think, is the most warm of the three of them. Okay, I need some makeup, um, like other makeup on my face because you can see it's a little, it's draining me out a little bit now. Um, this is described as a fiery, candid red, supposed to um, evoke um, the feeling or inspiration of lava erupting from the earth, um, which I think is very appropriate for this. You can see it is a fiery, warm, fiery, bright red, which um, normally would actually be more of a summer color, but I have seen that the fall winter this year, the true reds like this are in rather than the burgundy ones. Um, so let me put some more makeup on and then you can see what this color is like on me. So I've gone ahead to complete the look. I've used um, the, I've used the Emily Eyeshadow by Lisa Eldridge and I've used this gold shade from the Dior uh, Golden Bouquet Eyeshadow. I put it on top. Um, I'm really liking that because I find that the Emily one is a little bit too cool. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. And, the, um, and this is just too golden. So I really like the combination together for a kind of nude, taupey, neutral um, eyeshadow, which I think goes well with a red lip. Um, so this Rouge Feu is definitely, I would say, the most kind of warm. And it makes sense because Feu means fire in French. Um, so this is like, you know, your kind of warm, fiery red and it's very pretty and it's nice because you can wear this, you know, all year round. So the next one is Rouge Cenabre. Um, this is described to be inspired by a vermilion, which is a kind of mineral red pigment. Um, that's what the bullet is like. And to be honest, I was surprised by this one. I'll apply it and then we'll chat.
Okay. So, Rouge Cenabre. And the name of it kind of, and especially with this orange blocking on the tube, um, it made me think that this was going to be sort of a earthy, um, slightly orange, maybe a little bit terracotta um, lip shade, which it kind of is, but it's actually a, cool, a lot cooler than I thought it would be and a lot less brown. It's definitely red based. Um, it actually, because what happened was I, when I first tried it on, I thought, hmm, it's a little bit more red. It's a bit cooler than, you know, what I maybe anticipated it to be. And then I ended up wiping my mouth for whatever reason. And I could see on the white paper, um, the color, the actual, you know, pigments, because, you know, obviously when you apply something onto your lips, your own lip color is going to change how that pigment looks. And I do think that the description Vermilion is very apt for this. Um, I don't really know if putting the orange blocking was very accurate because what this pigment reminded me of is um, it was a little bit like the old red fugitive pigments that used to be used in painting. And this is before, you know, there was the technology to create synthetic red pigments that were light fast. And so this one actually reminded me a lot of this alizarin crimson, like a genuine alizarin crimson, which is fugitive that I used by accident. Um, and admittedly alizarin crimson is uh, a little bit cooler, a, like with a touch more pink, but this is approximating it, especially on um, white paper. So I think that this one is actually a sleeper one. It's going to be very um, beautiful on pretty much everyone because alizarin crimson is, or that plus, you know, vermilion lake or madder lake, like those were the old pigments that were, that painters used in portraits to paint lips and cheeks, especially on women. So I'm very surprised by this one, but I'm very glad I picked it up. I remember that the one I wanted the most was Rouge Granat, which I'll show you next. But the one that I was maybe most curious about was this Rouge Cinabre. So, and you can actually see on my spatula, you can actually kind of see just that it has that vermilion, um, undertone to it that it's it's not as orange as you think it would be given the name of it and the tube so you can, i hope you can see that the last one is rouge grenat um, which is the one in the purple tube uh, this is the one that i was most drawn to initially because of the purple um, it's described as a matte metallic finish again like with rouge cenable i don't think it's the best description metallic um, I'm wondering if you can kind of see that slight metallic sheen that this one has in the bullet. Um, so just to compare, I'll show you one of the other ones. This one is Rouge Feu, which doesn't have that sheen. Um, so the metallic actually put me off getting it, even though that was the one that I was first drawn to. And then I was speaking to one of my Instagram friends um, her name is Sylvie. She has a blog, which I've, I've, it, the name of it has escaped me, but I'll put a link in it below. She said that actually she also was the same, put off by the metallic description. And, um, uh, she said that in actual fact, um, it, it was only the Rouge Grenat that had a slight metallic finish. Um, but it was very subtle because she was able to swatch them in person. So that and plus my other Instagram friend, um, Nancy at House of Beauty, um, she also picked it up and she said, oh, I think you should get it. I think you'll really like it. So I got it and I do really like it. I will show you what it's like. Um, so the description on the website says that it's supposed to be a mix of red and purple with some metallic in it. Um, and like we've already discussed what I think about the metallic description. So um, this is Rouge Grenat.
made a little bit of a mess. Let me just get a little bit more. Okay, so rouge granat, and I hope you can see that the quote unquote matte metallic finish, so it's supposed to be a matte finish with a metallic in it. Um, what it actually does is instead of being, you know, what you think metallic would be, you know, like the frosted lip, which is what I was afraid it would be. What this does is it makes the lip color kind of a bit glowing, which I really like. Um, this sort of finish suits me. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I will do some arm swatches and I'll add them in. Okay, so that first one is Rouge Feu. That middle one is Rouge Cenabre. And I hope you can see that um, it really isn't that orangey. It's definitely has that uh, genuine alizarin crimson or vermilion tone to it. And this one is Rouge Grenat. Okay, so I did, um, after swatching them on my lips and swatching them on my arm, I do have to say that for whatever reason, the Rouge Grenat, the matte metallic one, um, the pigmentation is not quite as strong as the other two, which are the, from what I understand, just like the regular matte finish that they have in their regular line. Um, maybe it's because of the metallic, like the addition of metallic um, pigment to it. Um, because in order to get this swatch as strong as the other two, I found I did have to go back and get um, some more of this. So just something to bear in mind. I do like that sort of translucent bright finish to it. Um, I did kind of apply it a bit heavy just so you could see what the color was like um, in comparison to the other two. So I hope you found this useful and thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you hit like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Take care.